Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 1987's Generation 1, Six Shot. Now, Six Shot here is an amazing Transformer figure. Not only is he a massive Decepticon, but he is a six changer. He's got six different modes. Now, Six Shot hitting the shelves in 1987 pretty much secured an appearance in the original Transformers cartoon series, though he only appeared in one scene in the fourth season, known as The Rebirth. It was only three episodes. Very briefly, he appears long enough to demonstrate his six modes and to let the aerial bots know that they are no longer on toy shelves. And that was the last time that we saw Six Shot in the animated cartoon series, at least here in the States. He was featured more prominently in the Japanese Headmaster series. Now, Six Shot also appeared animated in his television commercial, where it's shown once again that he shows off all six of his modes, and he helps teach Cyclonus how to count. And what's funny, his television commercial is longer than his appearance in the animated show. What about attack? Six Shot will stop him. Six Shot's a one robot army. He's a jet fighter. That's one. The rocket car. That's two. He's a tank. Three. The winged wolf. Four. A laser pistol. Five. And a robot. That's six. Six Shot's my name. There's never been a Transformer like him. The Transformers are much more than meets the eye. I can do four. I got three. I figured out five. Six Shot, the most challenging Transformer of them all from Hasbro. Six Shot made his Marvel comic appearance in issue number two of the Headmasters Limited series where he is shown supposedly in one panel in his spaceship mode. And that's it. Six Shot is never seen again in Marvel G1. And that's pretty much the history of Six Shot here in the States as far as U.S. fiction is concerned, which is really surprising because this is a fantastic toy. So enough of the history of Six Shot. Let's go ahead and take a look at this awesome Generation 1 Decepticon. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, the first of Six Shot's six alt modes we're going to take a look at is his armored car mode. This is actually my least favorite mode because it just looks... There, there's You got to use your imagination with this mode right here. I mean, yeah, you look hard enough. It's some sort of Cybertronian assault vehicle. It's got great chrome wheels there on the side. Lots of chrome up here on top. And it actually rolls really, really good. Now, the thing with Six Shot is he has plenty of wheels. You've got the four big wheels right here for car mode, extra wheels right here, right here. So he's got quite a few wheels to help keep him stable. Now, this vehicle, it, it's all right. The windows here are decals. And these are actually Toy Hacks decals. The very first... Toy Hacks set that I ever bought for a G1 figure is for this guy right here. Those decals look great. He's got the big cannons mounted up here on top and a radar dish. 
Lots of nice molded details. You can see these are like seats. It's a little round de details right there. Not a big fan of the front of the vehicle. It just looks kind of messy. But that's pretty much it for Six Shots Car Mode. Now let's get him transformed into his tank mode. First thing we'll do is flip down the sensor array and we're going to remove the cannons. Go ahead and bring these up and out of the way. Go ahead and just bring those up and around. And what you're going to do is take this section right here and you're going to rotate this whole piece forward. There's a little hinge right there. If I can get this all in camera, this is a big figure. Go ahead and rotate that around. Now flip the vehicle over and you'll open up these panels right here. And now you're going to bring this section, this whole front section of the car up. And mine is pretty tight. May have to do this off camera. There we go. There we go. So now we're going to bring this up like so. And then there's some joints right here. You're going to angle it up just like that. Go ahead and rotate these around. And now you'll see there are tank treads right there. So take this section here with the wheel, rotate this so that decal is facing forward, and rotate the back wheel to where you see another set of tank treads. And just line that up. We'll do the same thing here on the other side. Rotate around, rotate the front, rotate the back. So now we have the tank treads and the front of the tank. Bring the wing sections down. And now you're going to take the wings and fold them back to where they were with the car mode. Let me see. Bring this up. You can actually tuck these flaps underneath after you reach inside here and pull these guns out. Now you can flip those back, angle that forward. So now you have these guns facing out right here. Flip up this section. That's going to form a cockpit for the tank. Now you're going to take these blasters once again, and there's a hole right there on the side. Peg those blasters in. On both sides. And now you have six shots. Futuristic tank mode. And once again, you're using your imagination with this. I do like the looks of this tank. It's more of an anti-aircraft vehicle because it doesn't really face forward. Now, as I showed earlier, all of these wheels come into play once again. You've got two wheels here and a wheel right there. And those help keep it fairly stable. Now, the tank mode is a little back heavy, as you can see. I like the little cockpit right there. Now, I think these are cool, the way these are angled. And with the wheels here, you almost can pretend those are like saw blades. A six shot's rolling towards you. He's catching you and just chopping you to pieces. Once again, looks really good. Lots of nice chrome and the sticker decals work. Now, another option you can do if you don't like this particular look for your tank is if you open these up, let me see if I can get this to look in, but there is holes right there on the inside you can actually peg these larger weapons into. Now, I personally, I like this look. But the instructions say to put the guns on the outside. So now, you've got that look going on. And I think that looks pretty sweet. So, there you go, guys. There is Six Shots Tank Mode. Now, let's get him transformed into his Pistol Mode. Go ahead and swing these wings back. Flip the cockpit back inside there. Go ahead and extend this section all the way out. Love the ratchets. Nice, tight G1 ratchets. So you've got that going on. Now you're going to take the wings and bring these up. I apologize if I'm running out of space here. Now you're going to clip the wings together here at the tip. And rotate these to the side. And then you're going to find the 
sensor array from earlier, get that out, like so, and now you have a blaster. Let me see if I can zoom out. Yes, there we go. You have a blaster. <laughs> so, yeah, gotta love G1. Now, of course, if this was made today, Hasbro would say, flip it around so you have a submarine. But no, that is a cool role-playing blaster, and I love it. I love G1. Now, from blaster mode, we're going to go into my favorite mode. Go ahead and flip the sensor array or trigger back down. You're going to remove the blasters from inside the purple sections here, and then go ahead and flip these guns back in as well. Go ahead and open up all of the flaps, and then you're going to rotate this back around just like it was for vehicle mode. You might have to move the wheel sections out of the way, snap that into place, bring these around, snap those in place, and then put all the panels back together. Go ahead and bring the wheel sections down, bring the handle, unsnap that from the top, bring that down, and now you're going to take these sections here, flip them up, and now you have six shot, oops, almost forgot, take your blasters, and you'll plug the blasters into the ends of the wings. And there you have six shots spaceship mode. And I love this one. This is my favorite of the modes. It's big, beefy, and badass. And the sticker decals look great on it. And it even has landing gear. There are hidden wheels right there on top of the windows from the vehicle mode and up here in these chrome sections. So he's got landing gear, he can land, and it's just awesome. That is a sweet looking ship. One of my absolute favorite ship modes, jet modes from generation one. And I just think it is so cool and it's heavy. This is a heavy figure. So now let's get him out of ship mode and get him transformed into his next mode. Go ahead and remove the weapons, fold these back in. Go ahead and take the wings, bring them up. And let's see, we're gonna move these sections forward like so. And now you need to take these panels apart. Now, one thing you're noticing, I am pretty rough transforming this figure because this is one durable G1. This is one G1 toy I have no fear whatsoever of breaking. This guy is just solid and awesome. They just don't make them like this anymore. So go ahead and rotate this section back and now you're gonna rotate it all the way around. God, I love those ratchets. Knock those flaps back in. Right here, you're going to flip these sections down, the seats from car mode, and you'll see there is feet. Go ahead and take the wings all the way back. Take these sections here and rotate forward. So now you'll notice toes. And then you're going to flip this section out and up, revealing a beast head. And here we have, whoops, I need to separate the legs. Let's see, these are really tight. That's the one part of this figure that I have problems with is these legs are super tight. You can see where they slide back and forth. We'll have to do that off camera. And once you get the legs apart, here you have six shots winged wolf mode. And to be honest, I do not think this looks like a wolf. It looks more like a tiger or some kind of cat. Now you can open the mouth slightly, but the mouth, the jaw, is also the cockpit for the tank. So you open it up too wide, it's gonna look goofy. So open it right about there, looks fine. Now, if you wanna utilize the cannons, these will actually peg into the shoulders right here in these slots. So you've got one, and you've got 
the other. Now, he's a winged beast, but because of the way the arms are, you can't really flare the wings out. They kind of go up, but you can't really get them out real far. So, you know, you're using your imagination once again with this mode. Great paint applications. I love the red eyes. I just think that looks so cool. So now let's get Six Shot transformed into his final mode, robot mode. And we'll go ahead and remove the blasters. Take the beast head and fold back into the back. Take the legs and you're just gonna rotate them forward. Flip these toes up. You're gonna rotate the arms down and then push in, revealing the fists. Make sure the toe sections are pointed up. Push in, revealing the fist. Go ahead and flip these sections out so you can untab this right here. Flip the robot head out. And there we have Six Shot in robot mode. In robot mode, Six Shot is a beast of a Transformers toy. He is absolutely massive and this figure is quite solid as I mentioned earlier, the only real hollow parts for Six Shot is right here inside the legs, and that's due to all of his transformation. There is no other hollow bits on this figure anywhere. Now, he is pretty much a brick because the only articulation he has is the arms can do a complete 360. They're on soft ratchets as well. And he does have a wrist rotation, or actually his entire forearm rotation, thanks to transformation. And I guess there's a knee bend too, if you count that, but that's for transformation as well. The feet are hooked together, so there's really not much you could do with that. Now, there are a couple different ways you can display robot mode. Like with the wings right here, I have them straight down due to the fact I really don't have much size or much area to film here. In the cartoon, he actually has the wings straight up. And as you can see, I can't even get all of that in shots. So that's what he looks like with the wings straight up. My favorite way to display my figure is I flip the wings around like so and angle them out, kind of like seeker wings. So he's got this look going on. Then right here with the tail fin flaps, I like to bring those out. And actually, I reversed the decals. The decals you see right here are supposed to go on the inside of the wing and the Decepticon logo on the outside. But I reversed mine because I think that looks so much better. And you can see Six Shot's face better. He's got a pretty decent head sculpt. Love the red eyes. So right there, that is how I display my Six Shot. And then, of course, let's put his blasters in his hand. And now you have Six Shot all armed and ready for battle. This is a massive figure, an impressive figure, and one of my absolute favorites. And I'm just noticing here, see if I can zoom in. His rub symbol still working. It's dark blue right now because my office is hot, but that is sweet. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is 1987's Generation 1 Six Shot with Generation 1 Megatron, Generation 1 Galvatron, and Titan's Return Six Shot. 1987's Generation 1 Six Shot is an amazing Transformers toy. This thing is solid, he's durable, He's fun to play with, and to be honest, one of the best G1 figures ever made. I absolutely love this toy. I just really, really wished they had fleshed him out more in either the G1 cartoon or Marvel Comics, because I think they really had a missed opportunity developing this character. So there you go, guys. 1987's Generation 1, Six Shot. So, does the 1987 Generation 1 Six Shot belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is a fantastic Transformers toy. He's big, he's solid, he's durable, and he's so much fun to play with. 
though trying to find one on the secondary market right now is a little expensive. When I checked earlier today, finding a complete six shot will run you anywhere from $100 to $150. Now, funny story about this six shot, well, not really a funny story, fun fact, this figure right here I bought in 2012 was the first figure I bought after I sold off all my collection. So I bought this guy at a yard sale for like five bucks and he was really, really rough and I cleaned him up. So he was kind of my first G1 restoration and I think I did a damn good job. I mean, he looks great. Also, he is my very first repro labeled G1 figure. And like I said, I got this guy in 2012, stuck these decals on in 2012, and they still look great. So for those of you wonder what the durability of Toy Hacks is, there you go. These were applied in 2012. So yeah, you see a six shot, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed because this is an awesome vintage Transformers toy. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Brian, signing out.